Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a teal brown spay fly. The hook I have in the vise is a 2312. This is a size 12. And this is a wet dry dr curved shank straight eye light wire hook from Green Caddis Outfitters. GreenCaddis.com. I'm going to start out. I'm going to put 10 thousandths lead wire and this lead wire is just to help it get down through the water column there a bit. This can be optional. And I put like 15 wraps on there of 10 thousandths. Get rid of the excess. I want to keep that in the middle. I'm going to use this is 6 op 140 denier brown. And we're going to put the base of thread down and cover the lead wraps. And we'll bring that back to where it would hang at the barb. We're going to start out with a tail. For the tail, I'm going to use. I have teal feather. You could use any barred flank feather. And I'm going to take just, uh, I don't know, four or five of them I have here. We're going to tie them in. We want those that tail to be about the length of the hook from the eye to the bend. Nice long sweeping tail on that. And I use the natural curve to help them point to the top. And I'll put a wrap underneath. Get a nice split tail there. And wrap that in. Come forward. Now we can remove it. Wrapping it in helps cover the lead. We're going to bring that thread back to the tail position. This is a good wet fly where there's large mayflies. If you're in a river, just cast it across and let it swing across the current. I'm going to put a rib in and I'm going to use copper wire. And that's just what's handy. You can use any type of uh, wire for thread. You can even use a heavy piece of thread like Kevlar for your rib if you want it to really stand out. And we're going to secure that. Yeah, it looks like I got to get another wrap underneath that tail there. There we go. Now I'm going to use this mahogany brown crystal dub. This is a hair blend with uh, it's basically angel hair chopped up and blended in with it. We're not going to make a real big noodle. We're going to go ahead and wrap that forward. And I need just a little bit more on there. And we're going to bring that up to about one and a half to two eye lengths from the eye of the hook. Now I'm going to take a natural, this is a dark brownish, almost black hen feather. And we're going to tie this in by the butt section. And tidy up that head. 
we're going to take the hackle and we're going to run, wind that to the rear. We have it all on one side. And we're going to make some pretty wide wraps there. And when we reach the tail, we're going to take our rib and we're going to tie that, secure that with the rib. Keep that tight, especially on that first wrap. And we're going to bring that forward. And you don't want to you don't want to lay down too many of the wraps of the hackle. So you kind of got to wiggle it through there. Even if you make more wraps than the amount that you used on the hackle. And when you reach the top, I'm going to go ahead and tie that off. And if the wire is thin enough, you can just go ahead and break it off. And I'm going to pull off the remainder on the tail. And clean that head up a little bit. I'm going to take another barred teal feather, flank feather. And this is going to be the wing. I have it separated there. I'm going to tie it in there first. So let's put maybe two to three wraps in there. Then you can pull it to size. And you want that just slightly longer than the hook. Go ahead and secure that. Now I'm going to take a hen saddle feather, same color. I'm going to tie that in by the tip. And we'll trim off the excess. Get that thread out of the way before I cut it. And we're going to take that. We can move all of this hackle to one side and we're going to wrap that Just stroke it back as you're going and then we can secure the hackle stem remove that excess wrap the head now we're going to take our whip finish Put some head cement on there. And 
And here we have a dark brown teal wet fly. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.